We're back. Welcome to Lesson 92, taking nutty, kooky guesses at roots. No, no. We're going to take roots and estimate, okay? But let's go back and do an oldie first, all right? So square root of 25, you know that's going to be a 2 there if you don't see anything there. The answer to that is 5. You know the square root of 4 ninths, all you need to do on the fractions is take the, each one of those, the numerator and the denominator, and go the square root of 4, 2. The square root of 9, 3. There's your answer. The cube root of 27 is what number of times itself three times give you 27. The answer is three. The fourth root is something times something times something times something is equal to 16. And of course the answer is two. So let's make sure we know that. Okay, right, now let's look at this. The square root of 10, that's weird. What the heck is that? We know the square root of nine is three. We know the square root of, you know, like uh, four is two. And other square roots like the square root of 16 is four and so on. What we can do is we can kind of like make a guess, right? If we know that the square root of nine is three, and then we know that, I'm trying to think of what next, so, so three times three is nine. The next number we would try here is four times four, right? To the square root of what is four? 16, right? Okay, so we know the answer <clears throat> to the square root of 10 is somewhere between the integers three and four. In fact, it's gonna be closer to three because the square root of nine is, in other words, the number nine is closer to 10 than 16 is closer to 10. So it's gonna be closer to three is the answer. That's basically this entire lesson. So you're estimating roots, okay? So they'll say things like this. Between which two consecutive integers, in other words, consecutive integers two in a row, like 19 and 20 or 14 and 15 or three and four or whatever. So between which two is the square root of 72. <clears throat> so what you need to do is you need to go, okay, well, I'm looking for something that goes here, and then, uh, you know, 72 is here, and then something is there. So the square root of, you know, what numbers are perfect squares? In other words, one times one is one. one uh, four, two times two is four. Three times three is nine. Four times four is 16. Five times five is 25. Six times six, 36. Seven times seven, eight times eight nine times nine and so on. But you're gonna go, wait a minute, I see 64 and 81. That means the square root of 64, 72, and then 81, boom, okay. So the square root of 64, of course, is eight. The square root of 81 is nine. <clears throat> so the square root of 72 is somewhere between eight and nine. It's not a perfect integer answer, of course. That's not gonna happen, but it's between eight and nine, and that's your answer between the consecutive integers of eight and nine. There you go, that's all there is to it, okay? What about this? This is weird, even funkier here. The cube root of 250, what in the world? Okay, but you do exactly the same thing. You're gonna go, okay, I need a number, times itself three times, gives you a little over 250, a little under, let's try this out. Well, one to the third power is one, right? One times one times one. Two to the third power, two times two times two is eight. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times uh, 4 times 4 is 64. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. 6 into the third power. And this is probably something you're going to need to do on, on your own to do the, the, you know, do the, do 6 times 6, which you know is 36. Then do 36 times 6 is 216. Now you're going to go next. You're going to go, okay, 7 to the third power. Well, 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times seven will be 343. So you're gonna go, wait a minute, this 250, uh, in other words, you would say the cube root of 216 is six. And the cube root of 343 is seven. So the cube root of 250 is right in there. So the answer to this is between six and seven. So in other words, six cubed is 216, seven cubed is 343, it's somewhere in there. It's gonna be closer to six, <clears throat> excuse me, because 250 is closer to 216 than it is 343. In fact, if you were to, if you have a calculator, go ahead and pause it. Or even Siri, you can say, hey Siri, what is the cube root of 250? The cube root of two is approximately 1.2599. That's creepy. Hey Siri, what's the cube root of 250? I'm officially creeped out here. Okay, I didn't, really, I didn't realize it was in my bag there, so anyway. Okay, 
Another one creepy. All right, this is the fourth root of 123. Which, in other words, what number of times itself four times gives you around 123 or between what two integers, okay? So let's do it right here. One to the fourth power obviously is one. Okay, one times one times one times one. Two to the fourth power is 16. Three to the fourth power, three times three times three times three is nine times nine, which is 81. Uh, four to the fourth power is four times four times four times four. That's going to be 256 if you do the arithmetic, okay? And you, you can stop right there. So it's between the integers three and four. That's your answer. It's somewhere between those. Okay, on page 289, give those problems a whirl and let's, uh, we'll come back. Pause it. Okay, well, let's look at this. The square root of 30. Okay, you probably went, oh, wait a minute. The square root of 25 is five and the square root of 36 is six. So it's between five and six. That's your answer. Okay, pause it and try B. All right now the cube root of 30 which means what numbers times themselves three times give you 30 again you can go one cubed is one two cubed is eight three cubed is 27 Oop, getting close here we know it's going to be between four cubed is 64 so it's going to be between three and four much closer to three because 27 is closer uh, to uh, 30 than 64 is you know if you really want to get freaked out you could say something like Hey Siri, what's the cube root of 30? The cube root of 30 is approximately 3.1072. <laughs>